Welcome back to another episode of Warren Cali. In this episode, I'm going to talk about legendary Rolling 60, Keita Rock. Keita Rock is one of the most reputable names when you think of the Rolling 60s. His peers were other reputable 60s like Big U, Petey Wack, and Little Fee, just to name a few. Keita Rock was known for being a straight shooter and also a knockout artist with the hands. I don't know if he can knock out 32 Mexicans like Wack said Big U supposedly did, but Big U even said Keita Rock was top 5 in the 60s with the hands in their era. Keita Rock will be one of the 60s frontliner in the war against the A-Tray gangsters. Munster Cody will even mention Keita Rock in his book. He said that Keita Rock was one of the 60s top members that he wanted to get rid of. In the middle of the A-Tray and 60s war, a woman that was a sister of an A-Tray gangster was abducted and had some graphic things happen to her. So in response, the A-Tray wanted to kidnap a big name from the 60s. Some of the people in mind they had were Petey Wack, Mumbles, Snoop Dogg, Poochie, and of course Keita Rock. Munster called them the elite shooters of the 60s. The a trays didn't catch none of them, but they supposedly caught another man and did some things to him. During the 80s and 90s, Keita Rock would be doing a lot of time for shootings. Some included supposedly against the a tray gangsters. Once Keita Rock was out, he began to make moves. He had a store, and it was said that he had many celebs come through. Even President Bill Clinton was said to have made an appearance in the store in the late 90s and the early 2000s. Keita Rock would start to push his way into the entertainment industry, particularly music. He would be one of the new people and the artists involved in the new Death Row after a long list of artists left Death Row like Snoop Dogg and Nate Dogg. 1999, Death Row would have a lot of artists on the label and a lot of Crips. They were running to Timothy McGee, a known Southsider and also a known shooter. Timothy was said to drove by a studio in his area where a bunch of Crips and associates of Death Row were. Timothy started spraying. The rapper The Realist got shot, one of Big U's family members lost his life, and a few others were shot. Keita Rock and Corrupt were there, but they wasn't injured. Timothy was later arrested for a list of shootings up to 12. I mean, he was one crazy ass dude. Like, look at his face smelling and shit. Dude over here smelling like this a school yearbook picture or something. But besides that, the new Death Row was going at many artists who used to be on Death Row. During this time, Keita Rock became an enforcer outside of being a rapper. It is said out of a war show, the dog pounded Death Row bumped heads, and Keita Rock supposedly had knocked out Nate Dogg. With Corrupt still staying with Death Row and the Dog Pound having a problem with that, it led to disses on both sides. With Corrupt claiming 60s and Keita Rock being a big homie to Corrupt, Keita Rock and Corrupt started to diss the Dog Pound. Keita Rock and Corrupt did a song called Why You Trippin', going straight at Snoop Dogg and the Dog Pound. Keita Rock's verse, he dissed Daz and Nate Dogg and basically called them fake game bangers and talked about knocking them out. Keita Rock ended up dropping his only album on Death Row in 2002, but his career over there wouldn't last long with Death Row going downhill and him eventually leaving on bad terms with Suge Knight. In 2003, Keita Rock could be seen in a fellow Roman 60 rapper CJ Mack documentary. It was called Sea Walk, It's a Way of Life. In the documentary, Keita Rock just gave his perspective of Crippin in his current state. With no music dropping during that time, Keita Rock went back to the streets. In 2005, Keita Rock was in Arizona and was accused of trying to rob a man for 100 pounds, along with a list of other charges. Keita Rock ended up being sentenced to 16 years, plus an additional 7 years. Keita Rock is serving time, and if that's the most current update on him, he could be out in the next 5-6 to six years. With Keita Rock being the enforcer he was, and the person he is, this led to a lot of jail time throughout his life. During his short time in the industry, he made his presence known, as well as in the streets. He is known as a Rolling 60 legend. This was Keita Rock's story. This will conclude this episode. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my previous videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you want to see next.